Hey folks, Happy New Year. Today is January 1st, 2024. Um, I did a little too much partying last night, I guess you could say. <laughs> um, had uh, my group, my community of friends uh, here in Kingsport. We refer to ourselves as the village, I think. <laughs> it's kind of catching on. But uh, they all came to my house, which was great. And we rung in the new year. And um, yeah, so I'm feeling the effects of a little bit of uh, hard, uh, hard partying, which I don't normally do. But uh, I don't know, maybe that's part of the grief process. Um, so I'm out uh, on the green belt again. In the last video, I was hiking at Bays Mountain, uh, which I hope to get out and do some more hiking out in the woods and just getting out in nature. I think it does help with the endorphins and, and all of that. Um, so one of the things I'm, of course, thinking about is all that I've got in front of me with this new year, particularly my work and uh, just all the different projects I tend to uh, pile on myself. I'm looking forward to that, I think, but as I've thought about it today, I'm not really feeling real motivated. And I, I don't know if there's an easy fix for that, but uh, I think one of the things that I've learned, and I talk with my clients about this sometimes, I think sometimes we just have to push ourselves a little bit and once we push ourselves, we uh, probably get the motivation back. But um, yeah, so got that for this year. Um, like I shared in the last video, still feeling kind of numb. Um, not having the intense emotions that I was, you know, a month ago or, you know, um, it's been over a month now since my wife uh, died. Um, one of the things I've noticed is, you know, early on in the grieving process, really wasn't dreaming much. But here lately, I've been having uh, more, more dreams, dreaming about her. Um, I don't know, I guess it's, I think our dreams are a way of kind of working through stuff and helping us, our brains kind of sort everything out. But, um, you know, I wish I had more clarity about what my future is going to be. As I shared before, um, the loneliness and the, all of that is, is tough to deal with. I can feel the heaviness of that even though I'm surrounded by a lot of good friends and people including me and stuff and going today over to some friends to watch some football and uh, yeah so not sure what to do with all of that I do need to get back in to see my therapist I've kind of put that off I don't know I guess I'm trying to just get through the holidays but yeah, I need to need to process stuff. I'm really um, I'm going to try to figure out over these next few days, the next week or so, what sort of new routine I want to have because uh, I think to try to stay in the same routine is uh, going to just drag me down more. And so, looking for a new routine, finding that new normal. Um, whatever that turns out to be. Um, I do need to get focused on my health. 
I've really been eating really a lot of crappy stuff. So I've got to get back to eating healthy. Um, I think I shared in another video, I'm finding myself to be a stress eater. And so I gorge myself on unhealthy stuff. Um, I got on the scales this morning and eat. So uh, I've got to get back to getting healthy. Um, you know, these walks and the exercise is a real important thing for me. So I'm going to continue to do that. Today I'm taking a little bit longer walk uh, than I normally do. Um, like I said, the, the screen belt is a wonderful place to, to walk and reflect. So, uh, yeah, that's all I have really for this particular video. This is a short one. Not a lot more to say. Uh, thank you for watching these and listening. And would love to hear from you. If you want to reach out and uh, chat, love to hear from people. Um, you can leave comments in the on the you know on here on YouTube um, as I get all of these out. Um, yeah, so the grief, the grief that I feel, doesn't seem quite as intense. I think one reason for that. I know it's kind of wrapping up, but. Uh, one thing for that, I think, is that I've spent years of what I referred to as anticipatory grief. We had so many near misses uh, for my wife during um, her illness. And so you gear yourself up to really um, be prepared for the worst. And so that takes a lot out of you. And I think you go through the grieving process. I've gone through the grieving process several times over and over, just in anticipation. And then when it does happen, it's a totally different thing. It's, uh, you know, it becomes real then. Um, we can imagine what it's gonna be like, um, but you really don't know until you're in it. And so, yeah, that's one of the things I've noticed. And so my grieving process, I don't know if it's, if it's fair to say it's shortened because I did so much grieving ahead of time. But I know, as I've said before, the only way to deal with grief is through it. Don't get over it, you get through it. And um, sometimes that tunnel of going through it is a really long tunnel. And I anticipate that's what it will be for me. Um, the ebbs and flows I'm doing, people ask me how I'm doing. I'm doing okay. Um, I just need to I think staying busy and staying occupied with things helps a lot. Um, it's not that I'm avoiding my grief. It's just that uh, activities and having things to look forward to and things to do does help. And so any of you out there that are in the grieving process, find little things that you can do, even if it's just something as simple as, okay, I'm gonna clean out this closet or I'm gonna organize this one little thing whatever it might be, just even if it's just a small thing. And even if you're not feeling motivated, I would encourage you to maybe push yourself a little bit so that you can uh, um, get yourself through it. Um, because just to sit still, I think there's times that we need to sit still and do nothing. But there are also times when we do need to kind of pick up and push so anyway that's my thoughts for today uh, happy new year um 2024 has got to be better than 2023 was <laughs> so take care folks mm -hmm.